This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volume right back here with another episode of Front Mission 3. In the last episode, Kazuki and gang just, uh delved into the Ocean City to chase after Lukov, where they found the Midas. Unfortunately, the Midas had been hooked up to Ocean City's power, so it wasn't going to be easy to take uh, to, to take care of it. However, with a plan from Alyssa, we just, they said that if they sectioned off certain areas, they could remove the power with only minimal damage to Ocean City. So Kazuki takes his team to uh, chase after uh, chase after where they can section off and get the Midas, while Ryogo and the rest go towards the top side to uh, to evacuate the civilians. But let's find out what happens today in Front Mission 3. This is the control room. Alyssa, help me ab abort the separation sequence. Yeah, in the last episode, uh, Lukov and his cronies had started separation a little too early. Okay. So we're trying to at least postpone it until we're ready to do it, you know, that type of thing. Uh-oh. An alarm. That's... What's going on? That sounds like an alarm, Emma. I thought you were the scientist of the group. The abort program isn't working. Uh-oh. Dang it, Lukov, for being an intelligent villain. It's reprogrammed to separate the block immediately. Oh, crap. I knew we... I knew what we were doing and set up a trap. They set us up the bomb? This entire block is going to be destroyed! Oh dear. What? What can we do about that then? Are we screwed? Are we royals royally screwed? That, that wasn't as bad as we thought. I mean, it was bad, but it wasn't that bad. I mean, you know, we're still here. Hey, someone pick up! Here we go. What's going on? The ground's falling apart! Why are you out of your mech, dude? How do you expect me to evacuate anyone? Oh, yeah, that would suck, huh? Look, I've got us. The whole block is gonna be torn apart. Then what do we do? Does anyone have a good idea? I'm just a surfer dude, man. Wait, I'm thinking. You better think quickly. Miss IQ of 180. I, I don't know where IQ is, actually. There's gotta be something. The DHC will suffer too if this block is destroyed. Oh yeah, I forgot they're still helping Lukov and the JDF was taking them on while we're doing this, so... Kazu exclamation point. Kazuki, check the surveillance monitor. The DAZ must have some landing ships around here somewhere. Okay. <laughs> it just took the words right out of my mouth, Kazuki. I found it. It's the coastal f in the coastal facility. Ryogo, did you get that? You want me to evacuate there then? Yeah. But be careful. I got it. Okay, I'm ready to finish this job. I guess it'll be a final job. We need to take a long vacation after all this effort. Kozuki, go help with the evacuation. I'll stay here and try to buy time. Melissa! Emma, I'll be alright by myself. Go and help with the evacuation. They'll need the help. I also want you to look out for my big brother. Okay. Sal, please look after Alyssa. 
Yeah, I know, Emma. I want you to help the residents and minimize the casualties. Yeah. Or, yes. Kazuki, let's go. I'm right with you. Alright, let's let the egghead and the, uh, the strong-willed father take care of the rest of it. Wait, why'd you do that? Nah, it's probably nothing. It's fine. No, she'll take care of it, and we'll save all the civilians. Alright. Well, time to switch back to, uh, Ryogo now, I think, if I remember correctly. And see what he's doing. Oh, wow, we're just going through all over the place. Woo, woo. I like the, I, you know, I never talked about it before because I usually don't talk during the, like, little scene transitions, like, the, at least at the beginning of the map when I do the beginning chapters. I find it funny every time that the, the game has a thumbs up, every time it's like, yeah, you're right there. Awesome. You know, for a game that's kind of like, I wouldn't say dark, but, you know, has a more serious premise than a lot of other games, but yeah, has it. It weirdly has its goofy moments, which I think you need levity in games like this. Not all the time, just in the bits and pieces, like with Ryogo and other such things. So. Alright, gotta go to the harbor to uh, take one of the DZ's uh, ships or something like that. Looks like we're not, they're not, they're not unguarded, unfortunately. What's going on? They sunk the city! Some of us are still in there! Hey, blame Lukov, we didn't actually do it. Shh, they'll hear you. Let's get out of here while we still can. What about them? Just leave them. Yeah, so much for your own, I guess. The enemies are trying to escape. Why? We'll just let them escape. We just need their ship, right? Oh, maybe they, they might take the ship. Dude, I don't think they'll want a carpool. <laughs> Jeez. Ryoga really is written as a surfer dude in mind. Or, you know, one of those types of guys. You know, I guess we're fighting. All right, guys. Let's do it. Uh, last last mission for really difficult Platinums. Unfortunately, I'm not really going to give the best like strategy for it, but... Uh, but yeah, this one will be tough, because I think, same thing with the last episode, I think you have to beat all the enemies within, like, 25 attacks or something like that? It's crazy low, you know, if you want to get it without, like, a severe penalty, but anyway. All right, let's choose our team, B team, pretty much. Although Ryogo and Yoon are pretty good, and Lenny can help sometimes. Marcus, I should have gone with Melee Shield with him. I don't know why I tried to do... I, I don't know why I was so risky with him. If I had done Melee Shield, I at least could have used it more often just to kind of change it up a bit but oh well anyway we want to change piercing for this fight uh strongly suggested all right, all right let's see everyone do this probably give uh marcus the front seat there yeah in hindsight i should have done i should try to unlock shield attack for uh for uh Mr. Marks there. All right, let's look at our scene. Uh, looks like it's pretty open. It's the dock, so yeah, that's why in the previous episode I mentioned how Kazuki is going to be more of a long range combat, and and uh, and Ryoko is going to be more close quarters, is because of yeah, it's pretty much they're right there, and that's pretty much it. So not a whole lot of room for like cover. Ooh, oh boy, we got one of the uh, we got one of the Kexies here with anti-piercing, one of those meat shields. Got the machine gun, missile. Not really anything else, but uh, no uh, no skills to speak of, which is good. That would suck if they had skills. They're already they're already beefy enough as it is. Uh, let's see, we got a Yangtze anti-piercing with the machine gun. Uh, no skills. We've got a uh, King Hua or King Hua Hu Hua Yu one from that uh, right. Bef I think it was from the mission when we fought. Uh, God, what's his name again? He's actually a bigger player in the in the Alyssa campaign, uh, or the DHZ campaign, I think is what it's also called. Because Emma's story is called the USN story, uh, or USN campaign, and Alyssa's story is called the DHZ campaign. But anyway, uh, when we were fighting Kado, or whatever his name was, but anyway. Uh, machine gun, missile, uh, no battles, no skills to speak of. Let's see, we got, well, at least we got a couple of tanks, so they're not as bad. This is why this mission wants you to have a lot of piercing. Uh, MK-54, MBT tanks, anti-fire, cannon, uh, no skills to speak of. Uh, let's see, another can uh, tank, same thing, no skills. Uh, this one, you know, C3, uh, machine gun, no skills to speak of. Oh, two Kexies, oh man. Oh, we can handle them, but still. All right. Uh, 
All right. Uh, okay. How do we want to do this? Let me look at the victory conditions. Yep. All enemies are destroyed. We could. I might have. Well, let's see. He has anti-pierce. That's more of a Yoon thing right there. I might send her. Well. Do I want to try it? Well. Yeah, I do. But he is. He doesn't have anti-fire. I might have like Lenny kind of work on him for a bit uh, with the. Uh, with the missiles. Can I reach him? Okay, we can reach him. Uh, let's see, let me... I don't want to spread my guys too thin. Man, does everyone have anti-piercing? Well, I guess they're using the same methods I am, I guess. I guess I could have Ryoga fight the tanks. Because uh, I brought, brought Marcus, and he has anti... What happens if I go up to punch him? He machine gun him. I don't want Marcus to go up there all by himself though, just because of his uh, uh he doesn't have he doesn't have shields or anything like that, so he may die pretty quickly. That's gonna suck. But oh well, what can you do? Wait, he's doing fifty damage even with anti piercing protection. Uh, all right, anyway, let's get a unit over there, help with that. Oh man, come on, no, uh, no rate of fire? Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, make a, uh, I'll go ahead and make a battle save here, just in case, uh, just in case I screw up too much. I, maybe I should have changed Marcus' setup before the fight and just given him a me just a single melee. That would have killed a lot of his skills, but he still would have had a way to protect himself. Oh, well. Yeah, might as well take out one uh, focus all on one dude. Ooh! Well, there you go. Ah, oh, man, if I knew that was going to happen, I would have I would have saved it for another uh, dude. <laughs> and he surrenders. Hooray for Salvo! Hooray for school! Hooray for... Could just work on that guy. At least he has anti... Or, at least he has anti-fire, so I can just focus on him. Eh, not too bad. I got lucky there. He's a bigger target. So he has a higher percentage. Okay, good. We at least have... I'd be careful about using all my um, shields because of the uh, um, because of the Kexies and stuff like that. Okay, good. I was hoping he missed. The cannons kind of have a a pretty poor percentage, if I remember correctly. Ah, man. Oh well. Oh, they're not even doing anything. Good. <laughs> so leave me alone for a couple turns, please. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's see. All right, Marcus, let's have you punch a tank in the face. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that noise? I think the Kexies give us a turn before they start, like, wrecking us. Come on, unlock your double hit, dude. Uh, okay, so we're going to have you work on him since you've got an anti-piercing. Come on, ready to fire. Man, last episode you were activa activating it like every other second. Now you're not even activating it at all. Man, they still do a ton of damage for being anti-piercing uh, protection. There we go. Get some rate of fire action going on here. Did quite a bit of damage. Oh wow! Didn't even get a hit. This guy's can't. Uh, this guy's uh, machine gun option must be pretty crappy. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead. Just... Nice. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Well, one is better than nothing, I guess. Alright, we're doing better than I thought. 
I was uh, kind of worried there for a minute. Yeah, I better keep defending, you never know. Okay, I guess it's one more turn that they'll they'll, they'll start going after us. Uh oh. Yeah. I'm gonna move you. I'm gonna have freaking uh, uh, Marcus punch you and keep and get you stuck there so you don't keep missling him in the face. Uh, okay, so we'll yeah, I'm just have you punch him. So how much AP? Oh, he could. I'll, I might have him just attack Ryogo and then punch him with. Uh, Marcus, unless I finish him off. Yeah, a little bit better percentage because he's like right there, so. Oh well. Alright, that'll. Maybe we'll get lucky and punch him in the chest? Come on! I call shenanigans on this one. I'm finishing him off. That way I don't have to worry about, like, you know, uh, missiles and all that, because we've got, still got the Kexi to deal with. So. Yeah, do your little dance. Uh, do you want to go ahead? Might go ahead and start working on him with uh, with Lenny. Salvo? <laughs> all right, man. I was saying last time that I, I bet he won't get as lucky as Emma did with the uh, Salvo, but uh, no, he's getting just as lucky every time I use it. It's His only skill I've ever unlocked for him. I, I, I really wish I'd been able to unlock uh, break and stuff like that on a... Um, how many shields does she have left? Yeah, we'll go ahead and use that. But, yeah, I kind of wish I'd gotten, like, break item or, like, um, arm or something like that. Just to... Um, just to give... Just to have a chance to get something else to unlock, you know? But, no, oh well. Nah, since he goes by, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna yeah, I'll hurt when he get hit, but still. I'm surprised me hitting them hasn't caused the Kexi to activate yet. Huh. Alright, we'll have a... You wish use another term for missiles. Alright, who do we want to... I'm just looking into piercing, so we'll go after this tank, I think. Double punch. Thank you. God, I don't like that double punch. Ah, come on. Why are you doing this to me, game? You know, the whole... Uh, um, what's the word? The whole, like, not killing them, even though I percentage-wise I should have been able to kill them at this point. Like, odds are. You know. uh, let's see. He's anti-piercing? Ah, oh, yeah, he is. Okay. I don't want to move him over there, so... What's your... You are anti-piercing... Oh, yeah, I can't... I gotta remember, I can't wait... I can't, uh... I can't take too long to, to take out that guy who surrendered. Because at some point he'll, uh... Although he didn't have any arms, so it won't matter. Because sometimes anti... Or people who check morale, eventually they'll go out of it. You know? That's, that's happened a couple of times in this game. But, uh, but not enough to be warrant it being too bad. All right, what's that? Man, just not getting lucky with that, uh... No, at least I'm like guard B. That means her arms basically... Her arms basically take damage. Or at least it's supposed to, I don't know. All right, this should finish him off if we can... But that means it'll be hard for him to defend. Please don't destroy your arm. That's that's all she's got, man. I don't have any heals. What? Okay, I was about to say, you better like go again or something like that. Because that's blue crap. Yeah, we're getting into kind of some dangerous territory here because it just because she doesn't have items or no, she does. Okay, I can still heal. I forgot. She, Lee was the one I took the items off of. I might use a turn to heal her arms just because of the... Uh-oh, they're finally moving. Well, at least we got a guy with a shield over there so he can take the hits. So the Kexi are now going to start moving. 
Okay. Yeah, we've got shields. So I am okay with that. Okie dokie. Alright, you keep this on that guy, since you're... Salvo? Okay, I didn't think I'd get it again. That was pretty lucky to get twice in a row, you know. I was hoping it hit him in the arm so he wouldn't keep... Or one of his missiles, so... Um, okay, we're gonna punch that guy. Oh, there. Gonna punch that tank. Whoever said that... Whoever said that these games aren't, aren't fun when he was like, you, you can punch a tank, you know? You can pick your friends, you can pick your no nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose, and you, can't, and you can punch a tank. Alright, if I move her there, she's probably going to get hit by the... that. Although I can... I'll go ahead and heal her arm unit, so that way, because otherwise she's pretty much, you know, out of it. Uh, Missile-wise is concerned. See, he's anti-impact, so... So we'll go ahead and finish him off, hopefully. Yeah, that should take care of him. Alright, he's done. I think this fight's pretty much in the bag. Because all we've got is a Kexi, and he's dealing with, uh, with Lenny. And Lenny's got one more shield, so... And Lenny has a chance of doing Salvo again, possibly. Because I think I gave him, I think I have him on high, uh, high activate or something like that, I think. So he has high chance, uh, uh, good chances of just straight up activating, uh, um, salvo. Or either activating it from just acquiring it, or activating it from, a yeah, from, a that. So there we go. That might, well, I don't know if it'll finish him off, it'll do, it'll definitely hurt a lot. Yeah, that guy's pretty much out. Now we just have to use our turn to go over there and punch him, but, uh, okay, let's, uh... He's got plenty of HP, so I can suffer his, uh... uh attacks. My real has got a bit of HP, too, so I can suffer... I can have him, uh... How far can I move before I, I, I can't hit him? I just want to see. Okay, so I, he does kind of need to be there. Oh, that's right. He is impact. Oh. Well. Not going to do a ton of damage. Going to have to leave that up to... Uh... Wait, you still have... But I destroyed all your arms, dude. What the heck? Other mechs' arms, when they're destroyed, they, they lose their missiles. But apparently not for you. I was pretty much just going, hey, that's it. You know, he doesn't have any... He doesn't have any arms anymore, so his missiles are useless. Nope, apparently Kexi's your... I think that was his last, uh... Um... Uh, his last, uh... Shield use, so... Double impact? Oh, yeah, I was about, oh, sorry, double punch? Yeah, when you... Okay, when when Marcus can activate his abilities, he's actually pretty... pretty. Oh, he missed. Uh, he's actually pretty good, but sometimes it just... I might just move him in close. That's... At least increase his percentages by a small amount. There we go. But bye, dude. <laughs> so long, dude. Actually, do I even care about keeping that guy alive? Because I may just destroy him. Just to... Oh, he's not even... I don't even think he's on surrender anymore. Well, he's dead now. <laughs> what were you saying about surrender? I accept no one's surrender. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, oh, well. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll do one more salvo and that'll finish the fight. Ow. But yeah, now, it's, now he's so far away from everyone else, I have to basically use everyone's turn for, for charging and dashing attacks. Or dashing to get over there. 
And I still, yeah, I, for, I kept forgetting to take off Yoon's leg pieces and give her, uh, give her something more uh, substantial. But because at this point, she, there's like nothing left for floating purposes. All right, Salvo. Yeah, all right. That's been really helpful. Yeah, Salvo is pretty OP when you. And it's only a single cost. It's, it's just because of how much. It's because of how long it takes in the story to actually get Salvo. Uh, because you can only, the first time you can possibly get is uh, during the Wulong, uh, the Wulong Mercenaries or whatever, and that's still quite a bit into the game before you even, and you have to get lucky to, you know, uh, get him to surrender. Uh, I'm surprised that wasn't a three, Salvo wasn't a three spot. Maybe it's just because of, it's because, oh, wow, we have actually different, uh, yeah, it took to make... A, if we could have reduced the total number of attacks, we could have easily gotten a Platinum. That one's kind of difficult to do. I'm kind of surprised I didn't take any other damage, uh, negatives as well. But, all right, gold. But, yeah, we got different uh, victory music. Sounds like we're heading to the we're heading to the final stretch. Go, Ryoko, go, go! All right, jump in! Okay, the refugees are on board. Wait, who's piloting this thing? Yeah, who is that? The autopilot should be enough to get to Okinawa. How did you guys get here? Weren't we going in completely different directions? Ah, eh, whatever. I guess they made it in time. Wait, you couldn't trust Ryogo with, with evacuating people? Hey, you're late, Kazuki. Sorry, I had a hard time directing the residents. Here's all of them. He just throws out a bunch of body parts and goes, Ah, sorry, I crushed them by accident. All right, let's get out of here. I think this is a remix of that of the uh, one of the combat things, if I remember correctly. But anyway, we're ready. Let's pull out. That's what she said. <laughs> Alyssa, can you hear me? We're ready on our side. Hurry up and get out. Yeah, come on. You can do it. It's not that hard. The music is is kind of uh, I don't know. Oh, well. Looks like we're not quite done yet. Lukov is uh, still there, but we've gotten the residents out, so all it takes now is to get the separation out of the way in the Midas. But what about Alyssa? Will she uh, will she be able to uh, finish her job and get out in time, as well as Asal? And where is Lukov in all this? He hasn't been bugging us the whole time. Oh, well, it all comes together as, uh, as we reach the final two episodes of Front Mission 3. So join me for those, won't you? Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.